complex. Beautiful. Painful. Comfortable. Metamorphic. Nice. Honest. Graphic. Fun. Archaic. Dynamic. Analytical. Sexy. Really loud. Geometric. Fantastic. Unsettling. Provoke. Confusion. Engaging. Playfulness. Labyrinth. Desperation. Sometimes mysterious. Tactile. Frustration. Intimate. Quotidian. Cool. Attentive. Anxiety. Intricate. Inventive. American. Confession. Iconographic. Advertising. Reflective. Serious. Disciplined. Electric. Sincerity. Textural. Layered. Small. Nostalgia. Colorful. Tension. Really crazy. Little tongue in cheek. Personal. Humor. Grasping. Transformative. The University at Albany Art Department is a supporting environment. Real community sort of feeling here. The camaraderie between the students here is great. It's kind of like a boot camp type of experience, a shared experience, which I think makes all of us closer, ultimately. I think there is a sense of community fostered in the art program at the University of Albany. High energy, everybody working together. Always a good energy around the place. It was nice to work with other people on the show. Working together, you know, bouncing ideas off each other. That's part of this experience is sharing each other's time and ideas and support. There was a good sense of competition and we were really close-knit bunch. Everybody really pushed each other to do better. It's more about making the overall show good. You want everyone to succeed and you want the show to look good so everyone's helping each other out. If the show is good, then your work will look good. Everybody worked together to make the show as best we could. The museum staff was really helpful and I had a lot of freedom to do what I wanted to do. The installation process took me about two weeks of very hard work. Uh, it took about two and a half hours to build. So I built the structure. It's two by four by fourteen. Of course, there's always going to be a level of negotiation. I had to be considerate of my neighbors. It's always a challenge when you're working in a group show because you have to respond to the energy of what's going up around you while still maintaining the integrity of our pieces. One of the largest struggles was keeping this room dark. One of my TVs broke down. Color issues regarding the wall color. Painting a gray, a cooler gray, kind of allowed the paintings to pop out more putting together frames, to make sure they were level, and mount things and hang it on the wall. When it came to the orientation of how I hung the paintings, I went vertical with a piece, I went into a corner with a piece. I had to anchor it through the ceiling. And I was up on this machine, the scissor lift. 3,600 balloons took us about three hours. There was 15 of us. I ran five compressors with 10 airlines. It went really smooth. I was really super impressed with everybody that helped me out. You have to relinquish some control when it comes to dealing with a public space like this. It was a challenge, but it was fun. I have no choice. I was raised to be an artist. Something that I just have always wanted to do. It's one of those essential things for me. I just feel driven to do. You do it because you have to. Cut paper, oil, foam, insulation foam, colored light, different types of wood to build up this kind of final product that the viewer gets to uh, engage themselves with. This work is really a kind of a synesthesia of uh, my musical thought and my visual artistic thought. I make work that's uh, very graphic in nature. A lot of American ideas and fears and celebrations all kind of rolled up together. Various illuminations of neon and fluorescent light. Various elements of uh, signage, advertising, icons, and uh, the media. Um, presenting singular American imagery. You're going to see a lot of different images, mostly iconographic kind of things. I think there's a little humor and sincerity at the same time. The piece behind me is called Gang Bang 2. Setting up situations, I use props and objects to provoke people. You know, it's pretty much like that irresistible thing. It's putting a pin cushion in front of you, there's pins, there's a room full of balloons, cardboard, paint, paper, and I make photographs from that model. I actually take those photographs that have been sort of dematerialized, broken down and turned into something else through the photography, and I work with airbrush and ink, and I recontextualize the image further. I elaborate figures years out of what was originally a piece of cardboard or styrofoam. And you'll see an 8mm projector, you'll see a tableau for a large stuffed animal. Lots of, of photographs of people who I don't know any longer. I've been exploring memory and forgetfulness. Everything starts out with drawing for me. It sort of evolves into more three-dimensional pieces. That piece is called Wedding. It's a piece that I made with my late husband in mind. With uh, the Hardwired America piece, I'm dealing with a sculptural space and with um, the piece that's behind me here. One more time, this is Fritchie. I'm dealing more with a, an installation type work, dealing with multiple components in space uh, that draw from um, a lot of folk art imagery. 
it's a coupling between photographs, uh, still images, and video work, and it all deals with relationships between people. I have photo installations. I have a costume from one of my performances on display, and I also have a couple of video pieces. Basically, I take one photo, multiply it, and try to create a larger pattern or a larger image. And so it has a sort of gestural origin, and then through this process, it arrives at something very organized, very mathematical, very cool. Master Show is just an extension of what's already been going on. Uh, for the last three years. It's a body of painting that I've been working on since my time at this program. I've included drawings behind me here as part of the exhibition. Definitely my time here at the University of Albany helped me grow as an artist. My work uses embroidery as a dialogue with drawing to engage the viewer and reflect on quotidian experiences that I then used to critique my environment and my interactions with others. There's a little bit of anxiety showing new work. Everybody wants people to understand their work and to like it. There's people that you're going to piss off with your work. There's people that are going to completely dismiss your work. It's okay. It's good to be vulnerable. I'm pretty excited, man. I'm really excited about the show coming up. It's going to be really fun, for one thing, just to, to have family and friends come see the work and also get to meet a lot of the family and friends of people that I've spent the last three years with. I'm really excited about those opening reception. It's going to be packed. It's going to be wild. Nice to end with this and all be here at the same time. Much better than having had individual shows. Less stressful. I'm very excited. I think the show is fantastic. Everybody's work looks wonderful and I'm happy with the way my work looks. I think the opening is going to be a really good time for everybody and everybody will be done with submitting their thesis. The show will be installed. It will be a nice time to relax and enjoy the show. I was really thinking I would be more anxious about the opening coming up, but it's sort of very zen that this is it. There's no more tweaking, there's no more adjusting. I'm happy with the work that's in the show and I can move on. I am excited about the opening of the show. On one hand, it's a little bit of a sigh of relief that you're finally done, and that sort of marks the official end. I feel relief, um, amazement. I'm really happy with the show overall. Very proud of my peers. I think when you get to the point where you're going to present your work, you have to feel pretty good about it already. In a sense, I don't think that there's a lot of pressure on the opening. You get a lot of response for the work um, by the time it arrives here because of the feedback you get from professors and peers. What I will take from the response is to see what is successful and what people are reacting to and possibly things that I think are successful that people might not be reacting to. Well, of course, people's opinions hold weight. So I'm interested to see how, how it plays out, how people respond in a social sphere to, to be able to communicate with people, ideally. I mean, that's why I make work, to communicate. I expect my work to get a variety of reactions. Critical feedback, uh, to take that and have enough confidence in your work to accept that feedback. Art is about the argument that it's about the differences of opinion and take from both. Uh, the bad reactions are just as important as the good reactions and that feeds back into your work. You say something about my work, I think about it and if it makes sense to me then I integrate that and it helps me in some way. But it's also nice to get to show your friends and family and colleagues finished product in a nice environment. It's always nice to actually see people looking at your work. Pretty enthused with people getting a, a glimpse of my work in person and experiencing it and seeing what happens. There's been studies done where a typical person only stands in front of a piece of artwork for maybe two seconds, but you always hope for better than that. And I tend to be like a fly on the wall and not announce myself as the artist and kind of watch how it's received. But yeah, and to see the other people's work come to fruition, to see some of the pieces that are more about the moment, the things that will happen just at the opening, that's always exciting. Basically, uh, two lines will form outside and uh, have people go in from each end. Each person gets a pin. Pretty much when I say go, the doors will open, the people will go in and just start popping the balloons. It's going to be really loud, really crazy for a little bit.